Okay, moving on to the bottom half of page one, we have our enrollment deadlines, which are going to be pretty important for some of you. So first of all, we have the last drop or add date, which is February 7th. Um, that's just the last day to add the course, last day to drop with a refund. February 9th is the last day to drop the course. Um, without getting a refund, but without also getting a W, so it, it just won't show up on your transcript at all. Um, obviously, if you know you're going to withdraw from the course, to do so before February 7th would be better, so you can get a refund. Uh, February 28th is the last day to request a pass, no pass grading, and you do that through the admissions and records office, not through me personally. Um, and then finally, April 24th, so later in the term, near the end, is the last day to withdraw from the course with a W on your transcript. Uh, the reason you might want to do that is if you feel like you're going to fail the class, then obviously you would rather um, transfer to the university with a W instead of an F. It will help your GPA. But if you get to that point, um, please get in touch with me before withdrawing so we can see uh, about your possibilities for actually earning a passing grade. Uh, the required materials for this course, there's nothing you really need to go out and purchase. If you don't already have a printer or if you don't have access to a printer, that is something that you might want to invest in right away, not just for this class, but as a student in general. Um, Secondly, there is one textbook which is available for free online. You can purchase the hard copy of it. I think they sell it on Amazon for like less than $10, but you're only going to look at it once, so it's really not worth a single penny. Uh, we'll, we'll have access to it completely for free online. Um, it's recommended that you have a smartphone app that you can use to use your camera to create a PDF file. Um, so sometimes we'll do something where you need to like write a diagram or maybe you're going to review one of your partner's essays um, or just an assignment where you might need to take a picture uh, and upload it as a PDF. So I use Tiny Scanner. Uh, but you can use Adobe or other any other app that um, will create a PDF. You will need a binder to organize all of your materials, so pretty much every day you're going to be getting a reading assignment that you'll print, um, and then hopefully you'll hole punch it and put it into your binder so that you can keep yourself organized and have all of those materials accessible. Um, and I mean, of course, reliable access to Canvas because that's where you're going to view and submit all of your assignments and hold all of your discussions. And then finally, at the bottom of the page, we have the English program's uh, sort of propaganda for itself. I won't read it out loud to you, but um, if you have any questions or want to make any comments about any of these three items, please use the replies below.